Welcome to date night with the Youngs. We are at Disney Springs and yep. we're going to be dining at the Boathouse restaurant. We have never been before so I'm really excited to check it out. Yeah. And then after the Boathouse, depending on how my feet feel, we may go over to World of Disney and see what kind of merch they have as well as the dress shop and see what they have there too. Here we are at the Boathouse. So this is in the landing portion of uh, Disney Springs over near Jacques Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Over to the right here we have the Boutique, which is their uh, kind of gift shop. We got a little saucy out here on the, on the right. Then on the left is where all of the Amphi cars go out. So they are very expensive to rent. It's like $125 for like, what, 20, 20 minutes, minutes or something like that? Yeah, just go right in. But their cars, uh, we'll look at them a little bit later, that drive on land and then go right in the water. So that was a super easy process. We're already sitting down. Now it is kind of loud in here. Hello. Um, it is a little loud. Here we have the rolls that came out that look unbelievably good. Um, daily features, they have like a watermelon and feta salad, peel and eat Florida shrimp, some kind of halibut, boathouse lobster clam bake. Uh, drink wise, they have a really amazing expansive menu. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the Orlando Pride, Old Forester bourbon, homemade blackberry citrus puree. And Kelly is going to try the Boathouse's Dockside Lager, which looks like it is a lager brewed specifically for the Boathouse. So here is the Orlando Pride, definitely more of a martini uh, type of drink here with really, really nice garnish on top. It's super nice. Yeah. And Kelly has the Florida Avenue Dockside Lager, which looks super, super tasty. So, let's, cheers. I personally am not a big fan of oysters, but Kelly loves oysters. So we have here six, and then what was the type? They're Moon Dancer. They're from the East Coast. I don't remember exactly where. They have a huge menu that ranges. They are per um, per oysters. Yep. Three dollars and fifty cents, up to five dollars, and you can order. I'm sure you can like mix and match and um, order as many as you want. But I just got. Answer. Somewhere from the East Coast, but they look really good. Super, yep. super fresh. Yeah, five all... oysters. They look incredible. Yep. Uh, they have some various sauces with them, so Kelly's so gonna give them a try. And horseradish, and that's vinegar and um, onion or garlic. Something like that. Probably garlic. Yeah, garlic. Most likely. Then lemon. Nice. Here we go. Live reaction of how this oyster is. That's really good. Yeah. Super fresh. Super fresh. They look fresh. A little bit briny, a little bit salty. If you don't like seafood, you will not like raw oysters. So yeah. Really, it's like salt water. And obviously, if you have a weird texture thing, you won't like it. For, for me personally, at least, it's kind of a texture thing. I'm not crazy about it. Um, but they sound super fresh. They sound delicious. Um, when you walk into the restaurant, you can see the oysters literally right when you it's walk like super in. Super cute little fancy oyster bar. All right, entrees are already out. I have the uh, Cajun broiled swordfish steak. It has a jambalaya rice, andouille sausage, some crawfish tails, somewhere in there. And uh, of course, wild caught swordfish steak. And then Kelly, you got shrimp. The seasonal peel and eat shrimp. They look amazing, everything smells incredible. I know, checking in on Kelly's peel and eat shrimp adventure. How's it going? Two very messy thumbs up. My swordfish was, so I haven't had swordfish in a very long time. It was absolutely incredible. If you can get a reservation at this restaurant, I cannot recommend it enough. I think this is my new favorite restaurant in Disney Springs. I 125,000% agree. It's, am it's amazing. They brought out hot towels for us that were fantastic. Very hot though, FYI. Uh, we did get dessert menus because I will be partaking Excuse in me, the- it's the not so bitter end. Oh, I, I'm, I apologize, the not so bitter end. I will be partaking in the key lime pie in a mason jar. I will be partaking in the s'mores made Alaska that says it serves four, but I'm gonna challenge that. It's 
gonna serve one tonight. Just kidding, I'm not actually gonna do that. But we did see somebody get the baked Alaska. It looks so good. It was like two feet so high. They brought they brought it out and they toasted it at the table. If you don't know what baked Alaska is, it's basically ice cream cake and Well, it's ice cream in, encased in meringue. In meringue. And then they toasted it at the table side. And yeah. then they brought it around the table for everyone to smell. Yeah, it smelled I could smell it from my asked from our me table. Where I came from, so I'm gonna just not <laughs> uh, but it looks really good. But I'm really full. <laughs> so I'm not going to eat a dessert. I saved room for the key lime pie in a mason jar. Well, here it is. The fabled key lime pie in a mason jar. Kelly is not here. She has abandoned me alone with the key lime pie in a mason jar. Three, two, one. I've had key lime pie in Key West, Florida multiple times. This is maybe the best key lime pie I've ever had. So tart and flavorful and limey and that chantilly cream and the raspberries just, just kick it up that extra little bit. It's so unbelievably good. It's so good. Well, we're all done now with Boathouse. What did you think? Yum. I was like so good. That was like top five meals Amazing. of my life. That Amazing. was fantastic. Yep. Uh, for the first time in my life, while sitting in the restaurant, we made a reservation to come back to that restaurant. Yep. So we'll be back on my birthday, which is July 31st, uh, to try that again because they are um, a Chicago Gibson Steakhouse that apparently has their own USDA rating. That's how like choice and prime their steaks are. So I'm gonna come back and try one of those steaks. Yeah, we both did seafood incredible. tonight, yeah. so it'll be nice to try some other stuff on the menu. It was very hard deciding just between oh, yeah, any of the sure. different entrees and things like that, but for highly sure. recommend it. It's the aesthetic inside, the beautiful restaurant, the service was amazing. Thank you, Jarvis. Um, what? That was our person's name. Oh, okay. That was our, our waiter's name. <laughs> I didn't catch that, that's hilarious. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, very, very, very good. Highly recommend it. I now see why Lou Mangello yeah. loves it. For sure. <laughs> In we go to the world of Disney. It's very busy. Uh, lots of people in here. We are in basically the dead of summer. And uh, it is crazy town. And my foot hurts, but that's okay. These are in Disney, and everything is okay when you're at Disney. Look at this Lion King VHS cover case. Oh my god, the oh. back is the back of the VHS cover. That's, That's really incredible. Cool. And it's like leather, it's like a it's like yeah, a little a case, it's like a wallet case. So you have your cards and your you can like stand it up. That's so and cool. It is $29.99, which nice. is actually not horrible. It's a new nice. Walt Disney World style that I haven't seen before. That's pretty cool. Um, I like these. Or it's like Baymax. He's just like hanging up. Look at those giant ears. This is ridiculous. I saw this like a couple of months ago when they first came out, and I it, the ears do fold over because I was like, how on earth would you use this? But it's still the same price though. It's giant. It's still twenty nine ninety nine. That's crazy. All right, Kelly, what did you find? I got a new phone case. Look how cute that is, hold on, it's not focusing. There it is, oh, not focused. I saw this like the very last time we went to Magic Kingdom before our passes blocked out. And it's just so cute. I love it. Welcome to Kelly's Backpack Corner. Here's another lounge drive. It's like all the maps of the parks. That's pretty awesome. It's really cute. I just personally, personally for me, I just don't like how boxy they are. Like, yeah, that's fair. Uh, you know, and yeah, they're very, very cute, but I wish they were more of like a canvas as opposed to like a leather or something where it's not just like a giant thing. It takes up a lot of room. New arrivals just just in. These very interesting kind of 90s Disney shirts with a winky mickey. It's very concerning. It's, it's just it's like, how you doing kids? I'll show you something. Um, over here, they have this Walt Disney World one, which is kind of cute. He's like staring up like, wow, it's really been open that long? That's crazy. 
You wanna buy something? All right, we're keeping this train rolling. We're heading into Basin. We're gonna get Kelly some bath bombs. They have cocktail drink soap. They look like boat drinks. Pineapple, creamy coconut, and a twist of cilantro. Actually, which is perfect really good. for soap. Because cilantro, really good. cilantro tastes like soap. Yeah. You see that bath? You said it tastes like soap? Yeah. So it's perfect for soap. <laughs> That's funny. That's a joke for you. Onward into the co op. It's actually, it's going 28 in Maine because I've been seeing some pretty awesome shirts here. Look how cool this Magic Kingdom Frontierland uh, sweatshirt is. So, here in the dress shop, we do have a brand new dress. We've got the Toy Story 4 dress, and it's got Duke Kaboom on it, it's got Gabby Gabby, um, it's got Bo Peep with her Bo staff. You get it? That's hilarious. It's got Forky on it. Holy Moses, it's got everybody here. Pretty cute though, I like the lace I do too. I really like around the lace. neckline and, the, and the, uh, the, the arms there. Another one here that they have in the dress shop is the Bo Peep dress with the sheep down there at the bottom and the cape kind of dealio cloak maybe uh, around that. Pretty cute, definitely different, like a pantsuit almost. As we're walking out of the uh, Wonderground Gallery, look at this amazing Tiki Bird print, or Enchanted Tiki Room print. Look at that sign there by the artist Michael Murphy. $3.95, I kind of wish they had a regular print of that because I would probably buy that. It looks so cool. Really cute. It's like a like a attraction poster, but it's stylized in a really, really cool way. I love this. Just starting about a day or so ago over here at Pizza Ponte, fruit and wine popsicles in Disney Springs. We've had similar ones from Epcot in the Italy Pavilion. Super good, super refreshing. Uh, the Limoncello one. Yeah. It is a $13 popsicle, which is very expensive, but it is very good. And there is alcohol in it, but highly recommend. I don't know if this is the same. It definitely, it definitely company. looks like it. Pop, I believe, Pop Visions. I believe it is. I'm just Pop not 100% yeah. sure. So I highly recommend. Nice. Nice. Hi. That wraps up our evening here at Disney Springs. We had an incredible meal at the boathouse. So uh, please can't wait to come go back. to the boathouse. <laughs> Seriously, I can't wait either. Um, checked out some cool new merch inside of uh, World of Disney. Got Kelly a new phone case. Got some stuff at the basin. And uh, checked out the dress shop. So, until next time, see you then.